Yeah, we've seen seeing a lot of that coming out with these new changes as well. The pressure you can put out seems to be pretty huge in this patch. We keep the pressure. I know you saw Trilan last game. Doesn't look like Vega wants to return the favor this time, but Na'Vi is going to go dominant here. Oh, it's taking so much damage from this. And Chewie's not done. He's going to get the first blood with the aid of that Frost Blast from the Lich. Back in the day, it was slightly more okay for Rubik because he would usually just keep it on defense as Millfield in the lane. Jumping Madara in the bottom lane, though, with the Batrider and the Napalm charges. Three stacked up, and there we go. Lich just takes the Nightmare off and allows him to finish off Madara. Now look at Pexu as well. Pexu came in to help, but I'm not sure it's going to be okay. The Firefly still got a couple of seconds left on it, and with the Napalm, they'll be able to run down Pexu as well. Blizzy gets the double kill down at bot. Madara TP's back in to get this. Now there's a wrap around on the mid lane. Sineko finds an age. Yep, Sineko dropping low here that I shield on himself doing a lot of work but Mage will just find the kill a little bit awkward uh, Magical just hanging around Invis doesn't really want to get involved although we'll see Madara farming up he's got Laguna he's got Laguna there we go uh, Madara wanted to hit a jungle camp and uh, yeah but then well too fun. No, God, it's so weird for me. I have to look and see if they have a TP yet. Because I saw his inventory, I was like, oh, he doesn't have a TP. But it's hiding there in a little circle. <laughs> Top lane, Shoot Bash once again. Although, when that spirit comes in, he just does so much damage. The Cinder Brute doing its work, helping Kezu get away. Maybe next time, running to the trees, though, being chased down. And, uh, well, Shoot Bash is out of mana, so uh, MMT. Could maybe go for the TP or something, but not if he's in right click range. Now they'll surround him. They sandwich him. Plus the attack is now mage. Getting oh, no. run, run down and then comes, there comes that sinister gaze. What a spell. So you can cancel TPs with it. You can just, you know, get people out of position with it. It's such a such a convenient spell to only have one point in. They're going on to Kezu here as well, but he's coming in and with the lasso, they'll just drag back Kezu. Do they have the damage to bring him down? Well, there's a sense to gauge, just keeping him locked down for now. There comes that heal coming out from Kezu running to the tree line, but Blizzy is chasing. A couple more right clicks will be needed, and they do land. Down goes Kezu. It takes a while, pretty sketchy, but they get there in the end. And now Kezu, oh wait, right away. Snaker going down, but we're watching Kezu. As the lasso comes out with the drums as well, just dragging him back into those creeps. He does get the pressy attack off. He's but, so fast. Oh, yeah, I know. Blizzy's, Blizzy's having no trouble here keeping up with him, despite having to use the overwhelming odds. And down goes Kezi. And we did have the Lich going down in the middle lane. Right now, and MNT has the primal, I mean, the yeah, primal split they needed, but they're not going to need it. Well, the magical comes in the back lines and trying to bring down Bang. Will be able to do so quite quickly now. Mage. Well, actually, they're going to drop the split now, Still but the Chain Frost doing a lot of work. Meanwhile, they catch Mage on the back lines with an LSA and finish Double him kill. off. Now it's just going to be uh, Mr. Brew trying to get away with that primary brewling, but he made a bit of indecision there and trying to decide, trying to decide which way to go. And now, maybe next time, he's going to be in a whole lot of hurt as the Light Striker Ray comes down, and there are just too many heroes for MMT to do anything except die. Well, now he'll make you go massively out of position as no magical goes in on LC and Plasma. Yeah, Kazu in a whole world of hurt as magical brings Opponent. down that laguna blade not messing around with that kill just want to get out of the way quickly itemization and like position in the game where the cheap ones are more the now the high team. ground they are jesus maybe next time not even safe inside your own base at 16 minutes into the game navi they're not messing around they have come to play they're straight up onto the high ground and that tier 3 tower it's gonna drop that's a 16 minute tier 3 tower brumas has to buy back into the game now they're running forwards can they actually get a catch here do they want to get a catch here Navi just looking to turn this one around. They have the sleep out onto the Legion Commander and blow her up like nobody's business. Now running straight in with the split. The Eclipse doing a bit um, from, I believe that was... Uh, Madara's is pushing his own tier 3 now, so Navi needs to do something. All right, oh, they cancel Meanwhile, they cancel the one TP. Chris Lies should get his own off. Meanwhile, the Aspen are coming off the back lines onto two. Maybe Navi want to fight this as they run forwards. It's a stun out onto Pektu. The Bane should be taken care of, but this Lasso is out. They drag back Kezu. Kezu gets taken care of. Now Magical chiming into this fight as MNT, surrounded by heroes and torn into pieces as Navi turn around and just do what they can. Madara up in the top line, fighting up versus Chris Lies, is not even able to take these barracks. This is down regardless, but it's still like just the presence can be valuable. Now Bane. <laughs> this is hard to watch. Yeah, this is actually pretty bad now. Especially now, now with the drag, the look of love as mage. Just... Well, he gets the stun out onto two and, and gets his one. Last longer, but, but not long enough. Kill. No. 
Madara just has to carry his mind out as now Blink comes in. And they come, Nadi not afraid to jump onto the high ground. The sleep comes out onto three and Vega to take care of the drag one, drag two. Down goes the third. The eclipse is thrown, but they're already dead by the time they finished casting it. Maze trying to get away from this one, but can't really do a whole lot. Steel sticky napalm wanted the firefly. It doesn't matter. Magical gets an ultra kill as they just run up onto the high ground without a care in the world. Navi looking dominant as they take for the second tier three tower off the game at 19 minutes and 40 seconds. The nail in the coffin. I guess Vegas Squadron can talk about. I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff you can talk about now. I don't know if there's many yet. There is no meta, and now they come in immediately, getting the last two out onto the Legion Commander. But the sleep is there to hold Lizzie in place. Meanwhile, the Fiendscape comes through. It doesn't last long. They're gonna throw the jewel onto the Bat Rider. We'll find it. Lizzie is dead, but so is Hexu. Now Luna getting kind of low, but it's actually Madara who's in trouble. He has got the Sunder, but Magical is in Viz, so he can just throw him up into here. We know he's gonna land this stun, and already finds himself that kill onto the enemy carry. The first fight which Madara has really been involved in it. it does not go well mage now trying to get himself away the buyback is coming through from madara mage then turn, goes onto the low ground throwing back magical here trying to be careful but also waiting for madara to come into this one now chuvash getting surrounded kezzy's here as well maybe they can actually get this kill they can vega finding a Here's rare a drop of stand oh it worked last time why not try it again this time Again, they have the Metamorphosis. They want to get this duel off onto Snake. I mean, while the Eclipse coming in the back line, Chris Lice just wants to fight this one up. But I'm not sure that's a good idea. The duel comes out, but the Lich Farmer is doing so much to change for us. Actually, Lord Luna, she's going to survive through it all. And down goes Gezi, down goes MNT. Oh, Navi just turned up to the fight. And the GG is called. They did not kill Chris Lice. Mage going in to try and finish the job. It's just not going to happen, though. Navi walk all over Vega Squadron in game one of this best of three series. Now they're gonna go hero. for the TA. Ooh, this is gonna be a pretty rough lane for Storm, possibly. Uh, for it. They're, <laughs> they're not ready for that kind of stuff. They're they're wide they don't have widescreen. Because he could be in trouble. This tree should follow him here, and down he goes. Like clay pigeon shooting. And that's gonna be three runes going the way of Navi. Oh, that's pretty nice. You know what, Chris in this bottom lane. Uh, just look at the last hits. Doing pretty well. There's uh, Kesu struggling to get one. Yeah, it's kind of even. There comes the Avalanche. Uh, hey, time to swim. Pretty much dodge the whole thing. And uh, it's actually Tiny dropping low, but they get the tree out onto MNT. Can Kesu get the return kill onto Chu? No, he's going to go hide in the trees. The poison, is it going to be enough? How much damage is it going to be? Oh, no, not nearly. My yeah. general ping is much lower, so these little micro stutters, like, they get completely smoothed out by the time it reaches me. Beautiful. Play. <laughs> yeah, Madara should find him in the trees there as Pexy will come around the right way and down goes the bird. Middling. There goes the disruption. Magical. He's got that refraction, but it's getting burned through pretty quickly. But if they're planning on going this, they're going to need a little bit more firepower as Chuvash comes in the back. He does have that toss. Hello, Magical. Oh, nice have a present. Mage unable to get out of this one. He's got this is a static remnant. Not going to do a thing, though. Middle tower. Oh, magical chasing down Pexu. Pexu has a double damage. Magical's like, I wanted that. Come back at you. You will pay the price. And uh, Pexu can do nothing but die. Uh, magical picks up that freebie, really. Bottom tower is under attack. No, probably not. They throw it over to net worth and unsurprisingly, oh, actually surprisingly, I changed that tone as uh, Ursa suddenly takes over attack. the Weaver in net worth. So Madara, he's the one hope, the one dream left. Uh, with three Wraith Bands to Triple go. Triple Wraith Bands. Ooh, let's go. Chase him down, Snaker. Snaker, of course, has this Icarus dive, and we'll just double back around oh, again and in gets order the to ruined. get the bounty. Style points. 10 out of 10, Snaker. Oh, he's going to go up the that. cliff with the Sunray. Maybe. Oh, no, he's just going to die. Just That's nothing you can do. Meanwhile, down at bottom, uh, it's actually Snake, uh, sorry, Chu falling, and Kezu as well. Now Pexu probably going down as well. Not enough strength on this hero, but it does mean the mage gets away just about. It's pretty good. They can go on Madara. Madara, yeah. And there goes, uh, using the uh, battle hunger, then jumping in, getting that call off the Madara. Surprisingly tanky. Now he's going to pop that rage to try and chase on Blizzy. Tears him apart, goes for TP though, and has a little seizure as Chuvash comes in, and Madara is dead. A nice interrupt there from Chuvash. Using his blink reveal for that, ideally I think he would have maybe preferred it on the Storm Spirit, but still uh, Ursa's the most farm hero, so it's okay at that point. Jump in the middle lane, they even throw the supernova down. MNT does not have the disruption now as he already dropped it. Anyway, quite nicely. Oh, beautiful. Two trap. Hero trap. 
Yeah, and MNT. He's going to get finished off by two bash. And uh, Magical wanted to keep chasing the storm, but didn't have the blink. Is he going to do anything with him? Going on to Shavash, and he gets some beautiful toss back, which might make him live a little bit longer. Not sure fight. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming out to Kazu. Uh, Blown up as uh, Chu does still die all the same. The Dark running around this fight. In comes a TA. Now be looking to fight this, but Magical taking on the front lines as Mage jumps forward. They don't have the electric force, they do have a lot of damage. Magical, he's getting so low, but Mage is actually the one who's going to jump down. The melt is everything. The fraction thrown up. Crystallize on the back lines, able to take down Madara, MNT, and Pexu. The only two left alive. The tombstone's going to get taken out. There is no slow even as the call comes down onto maybe next time. Meanwhile, Pexu just going to get run down by Crystallize. And it's a slow, but it's a deep burn as Vega loot everybody. Man, you always need that sight when you go in against the TA because you will just melt that last hit of damage and then, uh, well, then everything is looking horrible. Now, Madara in the middle lane getting jumped from all directions here as Navi is around him. He's going to pop that in rage and try and get himself away. This is a slow limp as MNT comes in. Oh, he doesn't get the disruption off. He was in the middle of casting it onto the Phoenix. Madara trying to make his way through the tree lines. He's able to escape from the supernova and now gets the blink away. Madara should actually survive. Meanwhile, Pexu being melted down by this Sunray trying to get under tower. But Seneko, he's got his aim well trained and he finishes off Pexu there. MNT going down as well. Another so Navi looking for more. Oh, Kezu caught out. He doesn't get the. No, no, it doesn't matter though. Navi take another three kills in this middle lane. I mean, they give it all to let their Ursus survive. It's a Kai on the corner. Okay. Could be worse. Snake are being run down, but Madara stunned up, slowed down by Crystallizers. In comes Blizzy as well with the call to save Seneko, and Madara gets taken care of. Because he can't seem to uh, land his call today, but it doesn't have the top of the net worth. Uh, I vaguely recall that. Oh no, in go they go on to MNT. He does get the disruption off, but it's not gonna matter. As uh, Chris Lights will quickly scoop him up and Texu as well. These supports getting absolutely annihilated. Get the storm, it's yeah. uh, pretty damn good. Poor Storm, nothing seems to be going his way this patch. Meanwhile, uh, Navion comes to the high ground. They'll take the, uh, the tier 3. Back oh no, they're not back themselves. They're going on to Madara here as Madara tries to get a pick up on the side, but he's dropping so low here and down comes the swelling blade. The culling blade. The culling blade is not that exciting. <laughs> Maybe you cut down a tree, you never know. <laughs> Very hype. And magical. Oh no, Pexu, even with all that health, it means nothing. And Ax drives back in a way that they're kind of dead low, but oh my god, Puck, he just gets killed. Madara, he's just brought back into this game, but he's got no team left. In comes the storm, streaking in from afar. But the supernova goes off in response, as with the time lapse as well. Meanwhile, Madara just getting chunked and chunked and chunked, and he is dead. Supernova goes off on the back lines, but Vega, I mean, they just call it. They just call it, and can you blame them? A very disappointing best of three for Vega to start off their tournament life in this winter clash.